Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 18 Ultimate Team update for you guys. We got some new information today regarding a new type of thing within uh, Madden Ultimate Team, the game mode. So uh, this is going to be called Madden Ultimate Team XP and within that we're going to have Madden Ultimate Team levels. So basically guys, just to give you a quick overview, as far as I'm understanding it, this is pretty similar to what you would see in many other games where you level up a, an individual character typically or maybe even in, in certain games you level up an account like for example on call of duty right you play the game and as you're playing the game you're going to go ahead and you're going to go from a level one up to a level 55 depending on what game you're playing of course um and then of course you can prestige from there this game it doesn't sound like we're going to have prestiges or anything like that but i think it's going to be pretty similar so basically what you're going to do is in game you're going to be able to get xp for doing various different things some of those things include solo challenges so uh, if you complete those head-to-head -head games uh wins for those obviously Obviously, quarters played, so obviously you want to try and play as many quarters as you can. Margin of victory slash margin of defeat, so you don't want to lose by too many and you want to try and blow your opponent out apparently. Yards gained on offense, total team tackles on defense, which I think is a little weird because that's kind of almost more dependent on how your opponent plays than it is how you play, to be honest. Uh, sacks and interceptions as well taken into account. A couple things you didn't notice on that list. Things like opening packs, not included for XP. Things like completing sets or objectives, not included for XP, at least in its current state. As it says in the blog, the only way to upgrade is to actually go in and play the actual game. So that's kind of cool. Uh, it's, you know, trying to force us to actually get in there and play the game. If you're somebody like me, you'd rather do that than sit in menu screens anyway. So I'm definitely happy to see that. Uh, it does say, guys, that the cap, as far as levels go, to start off the game is going to be level 30. And as you get to that level, you're going to get extra bonus bonuses that are not available to anyone else at any other cap. So, or at any other level, I should say. So, like, if you're at a level 29, you're not going to have the exact same things as you would at a level 30. We don't know exactly where those breaking points are going to be along the way. Obviously, we're assuming that we're going to get better stuff as far as, like, rewards and little things like that. Maybe packs. Um could be i don't know coins stuff like that potentially in the game could have additional solo challenges unlocked stuff like that that would all be pretty cool if we could get that kind of thing as we're leveling up and and getting more experience playing the game that's the kind of stuff that i'm looking for but again the level to start it off that we're capped at is 30. in addition to that it does say that that will potentially go up as the year goes on. I'm imagining that it will definitely go on as the year goes on. Uh, I don't see why they wouldn't increase that. But uh, basically, guys, as you get to that level 30, right now you're going to be maxed out. We don't necessarily know what's going to happen. Like, for example, let me, let me just say, uh, let's say just for example, a level 30 takes... 10,000 XP, for example, okay? Now, let's say that I play the game just a massive amount, okay? And I have 30,000 XP. So, yeah, I'm a level 30, but I'm actually, like, three times what it would take to be a level 30. Uh, what my question is, is when you get to a level 30, are you actually increasing uh, for the future as well? Or is all that basically irrelevant? Because, like, let's say, for example, that they then increase the cap to a level 40, and I have 30,000 XP. Well, what if it only takes... 15,000 for example to get to a level 40 well then is it going to be one of those things where I'm already a level 40 right away or do I have to then from the point that they unlock that level 40 do I have to then go through and get XP to get from 31 or from 30 to 40 I'm not really sure yet I'm hoping that uh, I guess I don't know I was going to say that I'm hoping that it would make it so that you can automatically level up but Maybe not. I don't know. I think that would maybe increase the likelihood that people are going to stick around throughout the year, which I think would be a good thing if they don't do it that way. Because I know a lot of people just like to get their various different achievements and things like that. So hopefully this will increase the amount of people that are playing the game into, let's say, even like December. Because I know a lot of people after December, they're pretty much donezo in the game. Uh, but it would be cool if people were still sticking around in April, May, June, that kind of a thing. I'm, I'm not expecting many people are going to be around still in July and, and early August, but you never know. Maybe Madden 18 is going to be freaking amazing. Who knows? But that is going to do it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure that you drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you are new. If we get more information on this, I will try to do another update video, so be sure to check on back here on the channel, and I'll uh, get you guys that information as soon as possible. Thanks again. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. We gonna never ever change up. We gonna never ever change up. Hey. Money, 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 money team. 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 Money,
money, money, money, money, team.